Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on uh, sequencing tasks in the Armour 3 Eden editor. So what this will allow you to do is create a sequence of tasks that activate in order um, and you can also use it to complete scenarios in a sort of dynamic way. So if I move to this point here, it should activate the next objective, which is kill this target. So I'll just wait for this one to complete, and then once he's dead, you'll activate the next task, complete the last one. Then once I reach this area, should successfully end the scenario, and say mission complete. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put down a character you can control. Um, this can also apply to any existing scenarios, um, but the module you want to look for in the Eden Editor, so go to Modules, or it's under Systems, and then Modules, and then you want to look for one called, under Intel, Create Task. <coughs> now, with the Create Task module, if I put one down here, there is a bunch of information you need to fill out. So the owner is who the task will show up for. So you can set this to objects who are synchronized. You can also set it to all playable units, blue four, op four, certain teams, etc., etc. So for this, I'm just going to set it to blue four. Task ID is you need to fill this out in order to do it. So if it's just task one, you can do task one. But you need to make sure that when you put this task in, it's not the same as any of the other ones. Because if you have more than one task and they're all the same, it won't work. The tile is what shows up in the little objective window, so we'll say this is, uh, I don't know, move to the area. Description is what shows up in the actual tasks menu on the map, so I'll quickly show you that on this one. If I open up my map, you can see here there's a section that says tasks, and if we go to tasks, that's what the description will be. So for mine, I've just set mine to blah blah blah, but if you want to, you can make it so that it explains um, explains the objective, or maybe gives you a hint if you're a bit stuck. Um, so I'll quickly exit out of this and go back. Um, what else we got here? The marker, I'm pretty sure if you set this to the variable name of a marker on the map, so you can create markers through here. If you set it to the variable name um, up here, so marker 0, um, then it should make it so that the waypoint is on that marker. Um, destination, so th this is pretty much the same. You can make it so that it's set to the position of the module, which is what I've done here, and put it right there. And then the state. So this is the state it already begins in when it's created. So generally, if you have them in a sequence, you're going to select the assigned one because that means it'll automatically assign that task to the team that's completed it, etc. Always visible means you'll always be able to see it, even though it's been completed, but generally you you might not want this on, so just leave it disabled. But if you want to see it after it's been completed, you can always tick enable. I think it just removes the marker from the map. Um, there, are me the, In order to set this up, what you need to do is... Um, you need to create a task, like I've done here. So there's the, the owner, the task ID, the title, description, all of that's there. Um, and then what you need to do is the second module in Intel. There's a second one. Well, there's actually three which you can use. Um, the one you want is set task state. And what you can do is you can link this up to a trigger so, for example, this one, it'll detect when blue 4 is within a radius of 5 meters. Um, and once it detects that blue 4 is in the radius, so you can connect these by syncing them, that'll create the blue lines. Um, but it'll detect blue 4 is present, and it'll set this task state to succeeded. You can also set it to fail to cancel, depending on what you need. And then you can sync it to the create task module, which is the original task and that'll complete the task. But in order to get it to activate in a sequence, you will need to have it so that the same trigger that completes the last task activates the next one by syncing it to 
the create task module. Um, and once you've done that, they should activate in sequence like they have here. So I'd, uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next Eden tutorial.